Isn't that great? Yeah, it's yeah, always fun. Yeah. In some ways, it's my favorite holiday because it's there's no pressure. People aren't buying gifts for each other yeah, and trying okay. to figure out what's going so on. I think that's why I like New Year's Eve. Like there you go. There's nothing like there's a fresh feeling. There's no like rushing around shopping. Like it's just a simple one. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, hey, you guys, Valentine's has been around for a long time. In fact. You know, if I want to date back myself to the days at the Grand Rapids Press when I was oh writing my. about yeah. uh, Happy Hour, which <laughs> yeah. was the name of the band at the time before you before you changed the name, uh, tell us a little bit about what's been happening with Valentine Tiger over the last year or so. And I know you guys have a new album in the works. Yeah, so we started uh, working on this new record, and uh, you know we probably have eight to ten tracks down, and. We, we like to move at our own pace, you know, we're in no rush and we, we do everything ourselves. So we have a nice little studio that we've worked up over the years. And so we get in there, get comfortable and, and work on them at a pace that we enjoy. So um, we've been testing a lot of them out live and uh, that's a different direction than how we made the last record. And so it just, it takes a little time to work them out and they, they always acquire a different flavor when you play them for an audience and you get that type of feedback, so. Sure, yeah. sure. So is the plan to release something in early 2020, um, just in, in the sense of, you know, maybe doing something beyond that with maybe a tour or that kind of thing? Yeah, I think so. It's, you know, we've, we've had a lot of conversations about that internally, just like, how do you, you know, because we're, we're big album people. We're, we, still, right. we still enjoy that format. I think we like to have a track listing and they flow and then there's different, you know, sounds from each song and put it together as a project like that. But we've been considering just like releasing a single or maybe an EP like that. And it's a little different. That'd be a little different for us, but it's pretty hard for us to get away from thematic things like that. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. I think in some ways, depending on when an artist came into the business is that's almost a lost art is putting together an album that Absolutely. has a sort of con a concept or at least a theme that where, where, where things sort of run together and you kind of know that one song yeah. flows into the next. So like those kind of works are some of my favorite because they, they seem a little more cohesive because I mean, honestly, like, you can chug out pop, uh, pop numbers all day and just like, and then I feel like they kind of get buried under the next one or the next one, but at least it has some, some weight to it. If you, if you say these are 10 songs that really have a message perhaps that like, you know, listen a little deeper. Right. No, exactly. You're exactly right. And so when did you guys last release an album? What was the last, what was the last date of that? That would be Stray Animals. And I believe the release date was 2000. 14. So, yeah, it's been a little while. Oh, obviously. for sure. Yeah. And we've had projects in between there and stuff, but, um, you know, we're, we're just, uh, we make sure it's right before we put it out. Oh, sure. I mean, I could, I could, I could pump out some stuff, you know, for sure, but we take our time and make sure it's good. All right. Well, yeah. let's hear something new. Uh, okay. You're going to play a new song for us this morning. <laughs> What's it called? The money we're, uh, it is called No Good Time. All right, here we go for Local Spins on WIC, Brent Shirey of Valentiger.
Control limited and indefinite There just ain't no good time To take all your plans and line them up in the sand Shoot them down with a hole Brent Shirey of Valen Tiger here for Local Spins on WYCE. Pretty song there. That's a, yeah, that, very very nicely done. Um, you, I always ask, often ask bands about what they think makes their band stand out, and you kind of flipped that a little bit on its ear I did. and said, you know, maybe the you know maybe I some did. fans. I did. I wanted to ask you that. How many people what? ask you questions? Well, I they like do. It. They do very well. So yeah. I thought, all right, let yeah, me yeah, let well, me let me describe like okay. the way I view Valentiger in the West Michigan <laughs> this is music a dangerous, scene. Dangerous, yeah, dangerous. Yeah, right. Like you that. probably shouldn't have asked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it's an indie rock band that I think has some interesting throwback flavors, like I hear elements of, and I always say, and I think I've mentioned this before, they hear elements of Wilco and the kinks and what you guys do, and, and it's sort of the influences that you have, but you guys have sort of this fun and witty kind of edge to your some of your stuff as well, so it's yeah. sort of, it, it, it mixes between sort of the very serious stuff to the very, I think, fun stuff in, in between, so I think it's a real interesting mix. I don't think there's another band in West Michigan quite like Valentiger. I mean, I would agree with that. Uh, it's yeah, I, th I think that's very, that's an apt description. Yeah. It, it's, it's a weird question. I think, you know, like, I think bands can answer that all day, and it's, it's, it's really tough, you know, like, to describe yourself. And, you know, you have your canned answer for people at the, at the whatever. Right. <laughs> you know, at the club, like, you know, so we like, we like rock and roll. We like that, and just like, no other, not rock, but rock and roll, you know, like, because we do, we like those kind of vintage sounds. Oh, yeah. I mean, you guys grew up with some of this stuff. I mean, you yeah. mentioned being in your dad's vinyl collection or whatever, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Mm. So we're rooted in a lot of that. And I think, you know, just like, I, okay, here's, if you have time for like just a minute yeah. here. Yeah. It's like, uh, and this is, this is kind of wild, but like, recent conversation I had about it was like, um, <laughs> people like a hamburger or a cheeseburger right so yeah. like I think we're just we're a little more like we're, you're gonna take a bite and you're just gonna be like you know I, that's not quite a cheeseburger that's not what I'm used to like that's not I might have to think about this a little bit maybe we're like pastrami and pumpernickel or something you know like that where you gotta dig in a little bit I think and so on the basis like you know I think there's some good guitar riffs and stuff like that that people latch onto. Sure. But if you dig in a little deeper, I think you find that um, it might be a lifelong band for you. You know, I don't think uh, right. we're, we're quite a consumable yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. you're right. There, there are probably more flavors involved than, than just so. sort of the basics. I don't know. This was just an off-the-cuff off, off the cuff conversation yeah. I was having with someone. Like, you know, people like a cheeseburger was what someone said to me. So I was like, 
<laughs> no, I had to think about that. Like, yeah. are we not a cheeseburger? Wait, I like cheeseburgers. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, but I think the the the, yeah. Yeah, the direction of that was pretty. Yeah, throw some jalapenos in there. Yeah, there, like right? I don't I don't know what we just got what we got in our burger mix. But it's just a little different. <laughs> Uh, speaking of something a little different, you guys are playing once again at the International <laughs> Wine, Beer, and Food Festival that takes place at DeVos Place every year. Um, it's a big event. A lot of people show up for this thing. And obviously the focus of this a lot of times is all the wine and the beer and the spirits that they have at this event. But you guys have actually played sets in the beer area for the last few years. Yeah. And um, I know you're playing this Saturday at 2.30 p.m. and then again at 6.30 p.m. But but last year you guys apparently played straight through. I mean, yeah. you got to talk a little bit about that. I mean, playing so many hours in a row without taking a break. Yeah. Is that true? So that's it's partly what I'm talking about. We're just kind of some weird cats like that. So, you know, we could take all our breaks and it would end up being, I don't know, five and a half, six yeah. hours of music. But what's fun for us is to like stretch ourselves and get out of the comfort zone. So let's try to play like eight straight hours. I mean, I'm not even kidding. Like wow. we took, you know, separate bathroom breaks and never stopped. So like <laughs> we would just play as a duo here and there, yada, yada. So um, I don't know. It's really fun for us to go back. You know, we have a pretty large back catalog. And so just to play some of those songs that we haven't played in years. And um, it's, it's kind of a reflective experience for us. Right. Too. It's like, I don't know how many bands um, would enjoy that type of thing, but we're definitely one of them. So yeah, that's <laughs> I don't know. Amazing. We learn a lot about ourselves that way. Like, what were we doing back in 2003? Like, why were we? OK, I don't sing like that anymore, but it's fun. Like, um, our hope is just look us up. You're making breakfast on Sunday morning. So you're there on Saturday and, you know, just like put us on Spotify. That's and uh, check us out later. You know, I think it's, um, it's fun to reach that many people. Sure. So, yeah. Absolutely. Well, let's hear something else. Well, you got another okay. new song for us today. Yeah, I do. I was mentioning to you, I'm, I'm playing some, uh, some morning type songs. So it was a nice little easy number of that. Well, <laughs> Easy listening, I suppose. It's called Ruth Street. i 
crossroads street coming up the way and I might stray just loosely from all I Brent Shirey of Valentiger here in WYC 88.1 FM. We're here in Studio X talking about Valentiger and the fact they'll have a new album out sometime in 2020. Those were yeah. a couple of new, brand new songs. Sort of, sort of giving people a little preview, a sneak preview of what's going to happen. Um, what's the backstory behind that particular song? I'm curious. That particular song? Um, it's kind of like... Um, you know, I think everybody has their place to return to. Right. So, like, um, I don't know, we go... We were just talking about kind of reflection. Like, yeah. uh, Beer, Wine, and Food Fest is a good time for us to reflect on our music and what we're doing and stuff like that and, and having a good time and everything. But I think that's really what it's about. So, um, you know, there's a reason for me why it's called Ruth Street. Um, but for, for everybody else, you know, like, maybe it's, it's an actual physical spot or maybe it's just a place in their mind. Maybe you right. meditate, maybe you work out, you hop on the exercise bike, that's your spot. But I think you go out there and you, uh, you get beat up, maybe you win sometimes, maybe sure. you lose, and you come back and you, you got to have that spot. So yeah, and, yeah I think it's just reflection is probably, for lack yeah. of a better term. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so uh, you guys are, in addition to this, I know you're also going to be playing at the Yurt at the Little Fleet in Traverse City in January, yeah. which is also kind of an unusual gig. Uh, very intimate. I know that yeah. for sure. Yeah. Have you ever done that before? We have played there a couple times. We, we like that place. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. We get up to Traverse City here and there. And oh, yeah. Fun. yeah. yeah. And something about Traverse City, too, in the wintertime. I'm sure it's going to be a little different than in the summer. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> they have that nice outdoor area. We, yeah. played, we played there one time for, like, an event. I don't remember exactly what it was, but yeah. we were outside in the wintertime, and they had those heaters going in and yeah. everything, but that's always an interesting uh, mm-hmm. Hey, you're, hey, you're in Michigan, so you yeah. got you to get those gloves and cut the fingers off. Right, that's, that's exactly. Trick, yeah. yeah, embrace it, right? Yep. <laughs> All right, well, great to have you on board once again. Uh, yeah. Valentine will be performing at 2.30 p.m. and at 6.30 p.m. Saturday at the International Wine, Beer, and Food Festival at DeVos Place in Grand Rapids. There are like nine different bands playing uh, over the three-day period, so there's a couple, three different stages I know that they've got there. So it's a really yeah. good opportunity actually to sample everything from jazz to rock and, and some stuff in between. So Absolutely. it's kind of a fun place to be. Yeah, it is. Uh, and we always ask in studio guests to pick another band or another artist that you like. Interestingly enough, I've never played this band before. Yeah, so I'm, tell us a little bit about your pick, the Detroit band Hand Grenades. So they are uh, they're definitely our compadres um, over on the east side of the state. So uh, we just en- we enjoy them as people. For sh- you know, sometimes you just have like sister bands oh, yeah. that um, you just get along with. And so uh, I just... I really enjoy them, but also I enjoy their music. I think they have awesome pop sense. I think they're exciting. You know, um, it's just they get the way they write. They have interesting. They their melodies and their harmonies yeah. are very good. So um, I, I don't know. You know, we have them over here when when we can, and we like right, to share right. shows with them just to kind of exp- sure. get them more exposure in Grand Rapids. Um, as little exposure as we may be able to provide. Anyway, we like to do that and have them play. And so I, I want, just wanted to share them today. Oh, maybe maybe some, some people haven't heard of them. And, yeah. Absolutely. Well, they're a rock band. I enjoyed the, the track that I picked oh, up. Oh, yeah. Now I'm curious about what track so, you picked. So the, the, this is the Hand Grenades and the band's single, Honey Bee, for Local Spins right. and WYC. Right, that's rocking. 88.1 FM. <laughs> 